hydrosphere. The hydrosphere is the sphere of the Earth. It makes up 70% of the total of the surface on Earth. It is composed of the oceans, lakes, ponds, rivers, and streams. Basically, the hydrosphere is all the bodies of water on Earth. Okay. What is thermal energy? The sun produces heat, which is a form of radiation. Heat is a form of energy. The heat is being transferred from the sun to the Earth's atmosphere and hydrosphere. This process of heat being transferred is called thermal energy. Radiation. Radiation is the process by which energy is transferred through waves. Thermal energy is transferred from the sun through radiation. Once the thermal energy reaches an object, it can be transferred by other means as well. Conduction. Conduction is the process by which thermal energy is transferred through direct contact. This type of transfer usually occurs in solids and objects with a definite shape. Convection. Convection is the process by which thermal energy is transferred through movement of heated particles. This type of thermal energy transfer occurs in fluids and objects without a definite shape, like liquids and gases. Convection is the means of heat transfer in the hydrosphere. The hydrologic cycle. The hydrologic cycle shows the process of water moving throughout Earth, which helps transfer thermal energy. The sun is the main source of this process. As the energy is absorbed or released, the water changes state. Stages of the hydrologic cycle. Evaporation is the process in which water is changed from a liquid state to a gas state and rises above ground level to the atmosphere. Transport is the movement of water through the atmosphere. As the water vapor is transferred from an area of higher temperature to an area of lower temperature, it condenses into little water droplets that are formed in clouds. The condensed water droplets in the clouds become heavier and then fall to the ground. This process is called precipitation. Most of the water that returns to the land flows downhill as runoff. Some of the precipitation soaks into the ground. This is called groundwater. How is thermal energy transferred in the hydrosphere? Thermal energy is transferred through convection currents. Convection currents move as the waters of the earth move. The heat from the sun warms the air, causing it to rise up to the troposphere. Then the air sinks back down to the earth. The winds move the waters traveling from the poles towards the equator, and the winds also move the waters from the equator towards the poles. Ocean currents. Ocean currents are the transfer of water in Earth's oceans. It is a set of patterns that form cycles on Earth's bodies of water. The ocean currents in the southern hemisphere travel counterclockwise. The ocean currents in the northern hemisphere move clockwise. Warm water rises and cold air sinks into the ocean. The two types of ocean currents are surface and deep, o deep water currents. Surface ocean currents. The top layer of water in the Earth's oceans is moved by surface ocean currents. It is strongly affected by the winds and the Coriolis effect. To refresh your memory, the Coriolis effect is a change of direction of a straight line due to Earth's rotation. The winds are a common factor of surface ocean currents. The winds may not have a lot of power, but they can carry the water through the ocean, causing a buildup and create waves. Deep water ocean currents. Deep water ocean currents is also known as the global conveyor belt. 90% of water in the ocean is affected by the deep water ocean currents. It is controlled by the density differences in the water. Density tells how closely an object is compressed. Water moved by differences in density is also known as thermal haline circulation. Deep water ocean currents move slower than surface ocean currents. 
In conclusion, there are a variety of ways that thermal energy can be transferred, particularly in the hydrosphere. These ways include processes such as the hydrologic cycle and ocean currents. These processes help to circulate the thermal energy from the sun and create the Earth's various climates in accordance to the different areas of land that cover the Earth. Thank you for watching our video and I hope you learned a lot. I'm Lorenz. And I'm Hannah. Hope to see you next time.